The man on the left that we're showing you here, Shea Grower, was shot and killed in Midtown. Police still don't know who did it. And just last year, his brother, Bo, was killed during a home invasion in Memphis. If you've ever gone out to eat or drink in Midtown, you might have met Shea. He was a well-known bartender of 20 years and never met a stranger. Our Stephen Pimpo with how his family is dealing with how Memphis's violent crime problem has struck twice over a relatively short period of time. Stephen? Richard, there are pictures all over the outside of the beauty shop restaurant in Cooper Young as a tribute to Shea Grower. His sister told me he was the type of person who would drop everything to help someone, even if it was just a hug. She says he was an incredible human being. There are so few experiences in your life that prepare you for something so senseless and tragic and unexpected. Paige Taylor is still trying to process her grief after her brother, Shea Grower, was shot and killed in Midtown on Saturday. We're still reeling from the loss of our youngest brother, Bo, seven months ago. And, you know, the family is just absolutely gutted by um, what has happened to Shay, And both of them were taken from us far too soon. The longtime bartender and restaurant manager was considered a fixture in the Midtown Memphis food scene, spending 18 years at the beauty shop, most of them as manager. Every person that worked at the beauty shop, they were his family. They are our family. They have seen us through the best and worst times. Paige says what made her brother special was his heart. He saw the good in everyone. Everyone loved him. He was kind. He had a generous heart. He was devoted to his friends and family. Paige is the oldest of the four siblings, but says her brothers shared a special bond. This is very devastating for our family, but... I know this is really heavy for my brother, Sean. She says her family has been overwhelmed by the outpouring of love the community has shown for Shay following his death. They wrapped our family in their prayers and messages. Still, Paige says this is not the city she remembers growing up in. Memphis is broken. Something has to be done. Something needs to change. Shay is survived by his wife Liz, son Ian, and daughters Reese and Parker. Paige says she wants the city of Memphis to do better, and that it shouldn't have to take something like this for things to change.